the U.S. stock market is eager to find out what the U.S. Federal Reserve has decided regarding the key interest rate. The decision will be announced later in the day. Ahead of the Alpha MC meeting, major trading assets have shown a mixed dynamic, and even their resilient earth quotes have pulled back. Analysts at the InstaForex are ready to present you with the latest market news and to forecast. Welcome to our fresh video review of the US financial market. In line with our forecast, the trading on the Tuesday was very much the same as on a Monday. Although the key stock indexes went down, the decline was relatively modest. By the closing bell, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell by 0.31%. The tech-heavy Nasdaq declined by 0.23%. And the benchmark S&P 500 index slipped by 0.22% to settle at 4,443 points. The middle of the trading week promises much more volatility, and major stock indexes futures have already offset the losses from a Tuesday and saw a recovery of a 0.3 and a 0.4 percent. The S&P 500 is predicted to trade in the range of a 4,370 to 4,520 points. Wall Street retreated on a Tuesday amid risk of sentiment and expectations of the Fed's decision. As a result, market volatility was rather low. Also, the batch of macroeconomic data from the United States turned out to be mixed. The report uh, revealed a 6.9% rise in the U.S. building permits, the highest level in uh, 10 months. Conversely, the figures for new housing starts plummeted by 11.3%, posting the lowest reading since June 2020. At the same time, the data released on a Tuesday had a little or no fact on traders' expectations concerning interest rates. The majority of traders see a 99% probability that the central bank will maintain its security rate at 5.5%. Additionally, there is a growing 70% likelihood of another pause at the Fed's November meeting. On the corporate news front, the main highlight was the IPO of Instacart's parent application, Maple Bear. Maple Bear shares surged by 12.3%, but couldn't sustain an earlier spike of 43%. Meanwhile, this season's newcomer, Arm Holdings, saw a decline of 4.9%. Walt Disney's shares depreciated after the company announced plans to nearly double its capital spending in its parks division over the next decade. Starbucks, in the meantime, faced a decline after its rating was downgraded to inefficient. Of the 11 key sectors in the S&P 500, Index 9 ended the session in the red with the energy and consumer sectors experiencing the largest percentage declines. On a Wednesday, futures for the U.S. stock indexes rose amidst expectations of a pause in the Federal Reserve's monetary policy tightening. Investors' attention is mainly focused not on, on the decision itself, but on the economic forecast and comments by Fed Chairman Jerome Powell. And this week, inflation data from the G7 nations has been given mixed signals. Consumer prices in Canada saw an unexpected jump last month, while the UK experienced a pleasant surprise with a decrease in August. As the market grappled with the potential impact of the oil bullish run, futures for energy assets took a sudden reversal, retracing sharply in the last 24 hours. The easing in the oil market caused the yield on the two-year Treasury note to drop by around 5 basis points from a two-month high of 5.12%. A substantial drop in oil prices coupled with the inflation use 
from the UK set a positive tone leading up to the central bank's decision. Updated forecasts from the Fed are likely to indicate another rate hike in 2023 and increased rates in 2023-24 with an aim to stabilize inflation. And this suspense will be unveiled later. Shares of a grocery delivery app Instacart fell by 5% to $32.05 in a pre-market trading on Wednesday, just 7% above Tuesday's IPO price of $30. Likewise, Arm, which debuted last week, dropped by 1.5% in a pre-market trading. Investors are also looking forward to the debut of a marketing automation startup Clavio on the New York Stock Exchange, Clavio secured a valuation of $9.2 billion in its initial public offering after pricing the share sale above the indicated range. Uh, and the currency market also showed notable activity ahead of the U.S. session. Major pairs, which spent most of the day trading sideways, began to pressure the greenback. As a result, the index was down by 0.23% to settle at around 104.90. As uh, for the anticipated trading range, it's likely to trade between the levels of 104.30 and 105.70. The key focus was on the dollar-pound pair as a fresh inflation data. From the United Kingdom, bolstered hopes that the Bank of England would pause its rate hiking cycle on Thursday. After a steep decline, the British pound turned positive, putting pressure on the dollar index. Nevertheless, the US currencies for the dynamic depends entirely on the Outcome of the Fed meeting and Jerome Powell's remarks. Analysts believe that the head of the Fed will aim for neutral, well thought out rhetoric, acknowledging progress in the data, continue to stress data dependence, keeping the possibility of another interest rate hike, and only vague mention of the 2024 pass. We'll see. As for the uh, Canadian dollar. It remains in a relatively comfortable position against the US dollar. On a Wednesday, the USD card pair slid by 0.27% to trade at around 1.3410. According to forecast, the asset is likely to move between the levels of 1.3370 and 1.3470. Is searching Canada's annual inflation driven by rising gasoline prices supported the loony. As a result, the Canadian dollar paired some of its losses caused by lower oil prices. A steep rally in oil prices posed as the traders shifted their focus to the Federal Reserve's monetary policy decision. However, closer to the US market opening, um, the benchmark trimmed the losses to 0.5 and 0.3 percent for Brent and WTI respectively. At the uh, same time, uh, despite the recent market sentiment, the overall outlook for oil prices remains rather alar alarming. Goldman Sachs has revised its print forecast to $100 per barrel. Likewise, the cryptocurrency market has taken a wait and see approach in anticipation of the Fed meeting. Given the inverse correlation with the US dollar index, Bitcoin might gain momentum today. Currently, the asset is trading at $27,100, or 0.19% lower. Speaking of a top altcoins, the dynamic is mixed. In the Fed meeting will be the main driving force for the risk assets today, so the crypto market may put aside its uh, internal uh, squabbles with the SEC for a while. Among other things, Japanese investment bank Nomura has announced the launch of a new Bitcoin adoption fund uh, through the, its uh, crypto uh, subsidiary, Laser Digital. The fund is designed to attract institutional investors, making it easier for large companies to invest in uh, digital assets. According to forecast, Bitcoin will 
alternate between losses and gains, Powell's dovish rhetoric could push the digital asset up to $28,200. Alternatively, his hawkish tone and grim predictions might bring the cryptocurrency down to $26,550. And this is how InstaForex analysts see trading dynamics in the upcoming US session. We hope the Fed's decision will help the EU generate profit. Remember that um, our team is uh, always ready to answer your questions and uh, keenly follows your comments. Best of luck and see you later.